Okay, so today I'm here with uh, Panos Lukatos. Did I did I say that Lucatus, right? Yeah. Locatus. Right. Okay, good. It's a bit of a tongue twister for me. Um, so my name is Darren Plum. Panos is a uh, certified master inspector and owner of, I just want to make sure I got it right, Home Inspection Services Group. Um, in my real estate business, I refer to Panos and his team's expertise quite often. And I thought it would be helpful to have um, him on today to chat about, you know, home inspections and and the value of home inspections and um, and things like that, and maybe how you've had to pivot your business through what's going on. So Panos, thanks for taking the time today. Thank you for having me on, uh, on, your, on your show. Um, so uh, I am the owner of Home Inspection Services Group. I've been in the industry for about a decade. Uh, we are a team of five uh, professionals and growing. Um, when I say professionals, I emphasize that because there's so many unprofessional inspectors out there. Um, our company well, is not just- uh, Sorry, not, not to cut you off, but you, just to touch on that for a sec. So, yeah, because I mean, being uh, being professional, but you can also, you don't have to be certified necessarily to be a home inspector, right? So right. that's where the, that's where that comes in. Okay. That's where the trouble's coming. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. So you're held to a specific right. set of standards and governed by a regulatory body and hold insurance and all those good things. Yeah, we don't have a regulatory body, unfortunately, from the government, but we are held to standards through our association, our training, and our company as well. We've set really high standards, and um, cool. we keep okay. them with no discount on the standards. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Um, so our company is not just doing a real estate transaction inspections. We are a, a multifaceted company. We do anything having to do with the home. Uh, we do asbestos sampling. We do mold inspections. We do air quality tests. We do allergen tests. We do radon testing. It's the newest service we're offering now. Uh, we do commercial inspections. One of our inspectors, uh, James, is a certified commercial inspector. So we do a lot of things. We're not just for real estate transactions. And we actually okay. go to people's houses when they have an issue. They call us because they want actually an independent opinion uh, of right. what that issue may be. That's in, in, in summary what we are and what we do. Okay, excellent. So I mean, so I mean, a, a home inspection or an inspection could lead to a set of those other uh, tests and services that you would require then kind of thing. Yes, or just independently, we go and do allergen tests and, and indoor qualities for people who actually just have a concern about the air quality in their home, uh, homeowners. Okay. Okay. So um, one thing I think it's important to touch on, I mean, certainly in, in this market, we're in a very, very busy GTA market um, right now, as you would be no, uh, no foreigner to, and home inspections are sometimes a little bit tough to get in even to offers now because you're, you know, sometimes you're dealing with 10, 20, 30, 40, I've seen as high as almost 50 offers on a house. Um, so it, it's, it's hard to sort of um, put a home inspection in there, but you know, is there a benefit to a home inspection after the fact, after you've already bought the house and you've closed on it, let's say? Absolutely. I, I would, I would uh, compare that to going to your doctor and doing a physical every year. Is there a benefit to doing a physical every year? Well, yes, there is. Because there may be something that you don't understand and your doctor is going to tell you. It's kind of the same thing. There is a huge benefit of doing an inspection after you get possession of a house. Because there's many things that you're maybe things that you're not aware of, and if you cash these things early, it's going to cost you way less money than what it may cost you when, uh, you know, it becomes larger. It could be a small plumbing leak. It could be a little bit of like um, condensation in your attic that could lead to mold, for example. But if you catch it at the beginning, then you've saved yourself thousands of dollars. And uh, I always say, be aware of the problem, and not just you know, if I don't see it. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> right. Yeah. And, and I think, you know, what I always tell my clients is, I mean, a good home inspection really is to establish a baseline for the property on where it's at today. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it, it's, it's, it, it gives you a way to move forward and decide, you know, in a level of priority, what is important, what things you should work on first. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I mean, I personally find value in a home inspection after the fact, even if you can't necessarily utilize it during the offer process. Um, so in yeah, terms, I mean, we hear oh, this sorry, all the time, sorry to interrupt, what's the point? What's the right. point of doing it? It's not the point of going and renegotiating or going back and accusing anybody or doing anything like that. The point is that you get knowledge of your home because yes. let's face it, current COVID uh, restrictions allow you to do a half an hour visit in a home before 
you buy it. Before making the biggest purchase of your life. <laughs> Before making the biggest purchase of yeah. your life. Yeah. So one of the things with a home inspection, um, I, I know people will, will, you know, often will say, especially with basements and things like that, you know, oh, I can't see behind walls and things like that. I mean, there are there are technologies um, maybe you could touch on a little bit, you know, with with infrared and moisture meters that, you know, of course, you can't yeah. x-ray the wall, but of course, they can help you deduce what might be behind there. Right. Exactly. And, and we use the thermal imaging. The moisture meters, they're tools of, of our trade, um, and we don't charge extra like some other companies do. It's part of our responsibility to our clients. Um, okay. It all comes down, first of all, to the training of the inspector to understand certain things that may lead to moisture, mm -hmm. right? And then you do your tests and all these things. These are mm -hmm. diagnostic tools. Like you said, we're not x-raying molds. I right. go, we hear it many times, oh, uh, can you detect mold? No, I can't detect mold behind drywall because I can't see behind the drywall. But thermal imaging and moisture meters tell us what we're looking at. And if we do have moisture, then we take it a step further. Then it, then it and takes we do further. use all this equipment <laughs> every day. Okay. And one last thing I want to touch on was um, pre-inspections for sellers, just to get your sort mm -hmm. of take on, uh, on the importance of those, um, especially in a market like we're in right now, a very busy seller's market. So pre-listing inspections are, uh, have been growing a lot in the last decade. We, it's about 20% of our business right now. And we have uh, agents who do them for every single listing, no matter what size, um, whether it's a 1,500 square feet. We, we did an 11,000 square foot house last week, uh, wow. which took about four hours wow. to inspect us at the same time. Um, so it's an advantage for any market. In this mm. specific market we are now, let's say you're going into multiple offers and you are expecting you know, to get 10 offers on the house. There's still many people who don't want to go in without an inspection. Right. There's a lot of buyers who just don't want to do it. And they say, no, I'm staying back. You're losing all those potential bidders. Right. So how much is every bid worth in, in a listing? You would know, I, I, from, from what I've been told, every additional bid may be five or $10,000. Yep. So you're yeah. losing all that market. You're losing a huge market of people who are concerned and afraid and don't want to buy a house without an inspection. That's where it comes in during a busy market like this. Well, and I think there's, there's, there is a, a big misconception out there. You'd probably agree. Well, if the seller is hiring the inspector, then there's, you know, then they work for the, the seller. So the inspection port could yeah. be, but I mean, in your case, again, you're independent third party yeah. held to uh, a high standard um, from your association, you know, and carry insurance and things like that. So, I mean, I, I don't see that that's as big an issue today as maybe as it could have been maybe 20, 30 years ago. Yes, uh, absolutely. Plus, our report is transferable to the buyer. When a report gets transferred to a buyer, then we are liable to that buyer. Right. Right. So it's it's, it's a matter of liability. If we do offer a transferable report, then that re, then that report is in the buyer's name. Therefore, we have a liability towards the buyer. So right. that's where trust comes in. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, well, we're winding down for time here, Panos. I, I just wanted to uh, say my sincere thanks for taking the time today. I know you're super busy, um, and I just really appreciate you giving the info. I am going to put all of your links um, so people can contact you. And um, so, folks, any questions, feel free to uh, reach out to Panos, and I'll put all his links there. Thanks for coming out. Thank you, Darren.